neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll return it from the one. He's hit and got away. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. around the 26-yard line. Second and seven. All on their own 26. He's got an opening. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. From their own 38-yard line, third down. the ball picks up the fumble he's on the run inside the 30 and a huge touchdown play defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift this is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. about the 37-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 37. He steps out at the 45. Tackle at the 42. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. It's second and 13. Ball on the 42. Got an opening. 
He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. This is the eighth play of this drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He laterals, and the cornerback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 20. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at about the 21. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple of things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's taken down at the 26. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. We played one quarter. Still no score. ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. That makes it second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. They're 
about four yards away here on third down. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 18. Well, they didn't need much, so give it up to the defense for reading that one and making a sensational stop to keep them short of the first down. Georgia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 30. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. On the ground with a tailback. Nice run to the outside. That's a That'll make it second down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. Got it on the quick throw. And he's level at the 47. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. And the safety with the interception. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at it. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. Georgia Tech holds a field goal lead. He makes his way to about the 48. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Pitches back. He makes it to the 48-yard line. This offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down near the goal line. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Coming to you, coming to you. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Touchdown, Tech. kid is a 
really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 64-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff from the five-yard line. And he's taken down at the 31. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. Slings it left. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. the stop around the 22 yard line i like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down from the 22 yard line first down Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. He makes his way out to about the nine. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Can't bring him down, and he's in. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. Kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Georgia Tech is up by three. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. Defense brought pressure. At that time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack.
It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on their own 18. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Six yards there on the option keeper. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. 10-7, Yellow Jackets. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games met, match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to hit something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. That'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll bring him down at the 27. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that fourth and long here after the sack I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's at the 40, and down he goes at the 33. the 33-yard line. First down. Pocket holds. 
Brought down right around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 15-yard line. The Tigers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down and seven. Ball on the 15-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. He's taken down at the two-yard line. under pressure tackle made at the one that'll be a pickup of a yard you know this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop so that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down from the one yard line it's second down fires to his tight end nothing doing Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it third and goal. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown, Tigers! And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 48-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. LSU's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 40. First and ten, ball on the 40-yard line. They'll get him for a loss, and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. That brings up second and 13. Steps out at about the 41. That's a That'll make it third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Yeah. 
And down he goes at the 24. Georgia Tech is a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence it's instilled. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. LSU is up by four. Steps out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle around the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. The Tigers lead 14-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Caught over the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 40-yard line, second down. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 31. This is the eighth play of this drive. LSU is up four. They hand it off again. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gives it off. The 10. Good tackle there in space. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The three yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. is the 13th play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Ready, left, five, five, five. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. 
And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, LSU! He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. He makes the PAT. It was a 13-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. And it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both sides have made their way back out. And we're just about set to get going again. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. He lets it go. Almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. He launches one for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Only a one-score difference now after that big, big touchdown. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After the view of the play, the rule on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. So the offense is going to go for two. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He laterals. They got it. Tigers are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. He's into the open field. He's at the 20, and they bring him down at the 15-yard line. Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Georgia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second and seven. Ball on the 12. And they get nice yardage on that run. Georgia Tech will use their final timeout. Touchdown, Tigers! the extra point a four play 42 yard drive and it's good for seven points everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff
He'll take it from the two. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back in their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back in your heels. Just over a minute left. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Brought down at the 42. And it's the defense that delivers the knockout punch with that interception. We're down to just a minute in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Gets to about the 44-yard line. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, LSU 28, Georgia Tech 18. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.